Hello YouTube and uh, welcome to another Lisa tutorial. In this tutorial what I want to show you is how to install a Windows um, operating system running within your Mac OS X operating system. Okay. Uh, for that, uh, to that end we're gonna use a virtual machine. Specifically today I'm gonna use uh, a software which is called VirtualBox. It's open source, it's free and it's tested and it works very well on, on Mac OS X. There's two ways that you can use to install a Windows operating system uh, on your uh, Macintosh machine. Okay, One way is to install the uh, Windows natively so that um, uh, you can uh, dual boot your machine uh, either in Windows or in Macintosh. Okay, I tested that way and it runs really beautifully on a 2 um, gigabyte RAM. Okay. Uh, and then this is the other way, which is the one I'm going to use uh, in this tutorial, which is running uh, Windows on a virtual machine. All right. The inconvenience of dual booting is that uh, when you need to use Windows, you need to power off your machine and switch it on again, and then select Windows as your main operating system. Uh, whereas, uh, if you use a virtual machine software, you don't need to do that because you could you you're gonna be able to use Windows uh, within your Mac OS X operating system. Okay, so that's that's the big advantage of installing Windows on a virtual machine. All right, so uh, let's get to it, and um, I'm gonna show you where to download the software and how to install it. And this is the page you want to go to. It's virtualbox.org. We're going to download the VirtualBox 4.1.8 for OS X hosts. Okay, so you click on uh, this link, and there you go. It's already downloading it. So we're going to look for our VirtualBox in our downloads folder. There you go. This is the latest. Double click on it. Let's wait for the the package software to uh, decompress our package. So now we have two steps here. We double click on this icon. Okay, continue. My password. And install software. Okay, let's close this out and let's go into applications. All right, there we have it. Welcome to VirtualBox. The left part of this window is a list of virtual machines on your computer. The list is empty because you haven't created any virtual machines yet. In order to create a new virtual machine, press the new button in the main toolbar located at the top of the window. Let's click on new, Let's click continue, enter a name for the new virtual machine. I'm going to call this virtual machine Windows XP. You can call it whatever you want, you know, guys. And, um, Operating system Microsoft Windows, yeah, Windows XP. Okay, let's continue. Select the amount of base memory in, the meg in megabytes to be allocated to the virtual machine. The recommended base memory is uh, size is 192 megabytes. I'd go as far as one gigabyte for Windows XP. But I really want to run it snappy and so I choose one gigabyte if you have actually if you have more uh, gigabytes than this available on your uh, laptop for example four gigabyte uh, plus then you can choose to install a Windows 7 instead of Windows XP if you wish you can 
Now add a startup disk to the new machine. You can either create a new virtual disk or select one from the list or from another location using the folder icon. If you need a more complex virtual disk setup, you can skip this step and make the changes to the machine settings once the machine is created. You can leave the pre-settings uh, the way they are selected now and just click continue. So I'm going to click continue. I'm going to use a fixed size because I know that approximately I'm going to use uh, about uh, 5 gigabytes of space. So I click continue. I want to create a new folder with uh, this name. So I leave this unchanged. Uh, and here it's going to ask me to select the size of, the, uh, of my virtual disk. I'm going to choose 10 GB is too much because I have a very small hard disk drive. So this is the size I'm going to choose for the Windows XP. If you choose, uh, if you want to install a Windows 7, I recommend you use at least 10 GB of space. And then I click continue. So I'm going to confirm this and I'm going to click create. Yeah, this is going to take some time, so I'm going to, I'm going to uh, resume the recording when this, when the creation of the new virtual disk is finished. So, it's giving me another summary, and I'm just going to click create. It's very important to note that you can alter this and all other settings of the created virtual machine at any time using the settings dialog accessible through the menu of the main window. So that's very convenient. There you go. All I have to do now is uh, grab my uh, Windows XP installation disk and start the installation of the operating system. So I've got my CD with XP on it. Start. So I've got on this CD I've got different versions of Windows. So I'm going to install a by in eight six versions version of Windows XP with which means a 32 bit version which is the most common mostly most used version so uh, I press one VirtualBox is loading all the files uh, to install window on your virtual uh, hard disk drive okay there's a message popping up here during the installation just need to read it and just press OK nothing really uh, very important Actually, this is a Spanish version. Okay, basically it says what you want to do with your Windows installation disk. You want to repair your installation of your uh, a Windows XP or you want to exit the installation uh, wizard of XP or you want to continue with the installation. I just click, I just uh, hit enter because I want to continue with the installation. Okay, you click F8 and you accept. He's asking me how big the partition uh, on which I want to install Windows XP is going to be. Uh, virtual machine already assigned a, a size to the partition. Okay, so all I need to do is just hit, hit enter. Now it's going to ask you if you want to format the partition. Um, well, you just say the first line basically you want to form a the partition uh, using the NTFS uh, system file and rapido means the, the fast way okay that's the one you want so the first line you just click uh, you hit enter and there you go and now you you wait for the operating system to get installed okay OK, 
Okay, folks, now that you have your XP installed, what you need to do, uh, you go into VirtualBox uh, menu bar, you go to, uh, I think it's in view, I think, no, devices, okay, and you need to click on install guest editions. All right, to install all the uh, extra drivers needed for um, your MacBook. Just go next. It's gonna uh, install the extra software and this in C and um, uh, program files, just like any other software. I tried to click this, but Windows is currently not running in safe mode, so you can only do that in safe mode. Uh, so you you, you cannot uh, tick this box, so you just go ahead and click install, and let the virtual machine install all the extra software needed. And now you want to reboot the system. Okay, this will allow you to have a better. Uh, graphics well still uh, the uh, the screen resolution is not optimal because I need to install bootcamp drivers for my MacBook I need to go to devices CD devices and tell virtual machine to use my host drive Machita DVD so I just click next you accept the terms and condition of bootcamp installation wizard, click install. Bootcamp is finally finished installing, so I'll just click finish. And again, the Windows system prompts me to that I need to restart the Windows in order to be able to use all the new drivers and features, okay? So I click yes, and uh, let's wait for the reboot. All right, guys. So just a couple of things before I restart the Windows XP. I had to make a few adjustments uh, because my Mac OS X was uh, running too slow. So before you run your uh, Windows XP in the virtual machine, you go to settings, uh, you go to system. Uh, and now you can scroll this header sideways so I chosen about 700 uh, megabytes of RAM because I only have 2 gigabytes but if you have 4 gigabytes of RAM then 1 gigabyte or 2 gigabytes of RAM it's, uh, it's really more than enough for your Windows XP okay and one more thing is the my USB ports on the virtual machine uh, does not work so uh, you go here to ports and then click USB and click enable USB and I get this pop-up message uh, which prompts me to go to the uh, virtual, bo virtual box website and uh, download this extension pack okay and then in that way my USB should be uh, enabled and uh, usable okay so let's start Windows again and here we have a Windows XP up and running uh, with the maximum resolution possible if I go full screen for example and I'm going to check the resolution and properties configuration I can see it's 1280 by 800 pixel which is the maximum resolution allowed on my MacBook and that's it guys for this tutorial I hope you liked it please post your comments uh, rate and subscribe thanks for watching another MacOS tutorial and see you next time